G'day everybody and welcome back to Apaya Puzzles. Today I am going to be having a look at the most recent cryptic crossword in the age from Liam Runnels on Tuesday, which was Boxing Day, and I saw a tweet from him saying that this is a themed crossword. I hadn't seen that previously, so I'm glad that I saw the tweet uh, because I love a themer and Liam's quite good at them, so presumably this has something to do with Boxing Day, but we will see. Uh, he did say in the tweet that it didn't give itself well to digital and so that the age digital uh, version didn't include the theme. So that might mean that I have I come up against some problem. I'm not sure. I set this grid up on a different platform. But hopefully you're seeing this, which will mean that I've managed to solve it and do um, proper justice to the theme. So um, you can see at the bottom of the screen, the clue that I'm focusing on will be highlighted. All the clues are on the right hand side there. I might just see if I can make them a bit bigger. Block out my stupid little face. And yeah, let's do that. Okay, so um, we're all good to go. So I'm gonna start with seven across. Um, dismissed a Times journalist. So this is axed. So A is the A times is an x in this mathematical sense five times five is five x five and journalist is ed for editor so we've got a nice x in place for one down let's have a look at that uh, yeah. they bring out old farm machines so old is going to be x looks like uh, excavators they bring out old farm machines they bring out uh, excretors, extractors, ah, extractors, okay. <laughs> extractors, so old is X, and tractors are farm machines, and extractors are things that bring things out. So let's try 16 across here, a nice short one. So far we've got an X on the themed, um, I should have mentioned that, the theme, is the only indication of the theme is the fact of these little um, colored squares around the grid. There was no preamble or anything like that. So 16 across. Frozen fish covers student's plate. Um, this is cold. Oops. So frozen is cold. A fish is a cod. And a student's plate is an L. That is a student driver has an L plate. So let's try eight down. I'm going about this in a slightly circular fashion, but let's see. Wanted Desmond and I to get embarrassed. So this is desired. So Desmond is Des, I is I, and to be embarrassed is to be read. So wanted is desired. So we've got some handy letters here. We've got an O in place here. Maybe we're gonna get a bunch of XOs. Let's see. Frighten away villainous lion and repel enemy force. Um, five, three, so scare off. Oops, oh, it's doing the thing where it's skipping. Hang on, I'm gonna change that because that really annoys me. Um, skip over, okay. Um, so scare off, frighten away scare off, villainous lion and repel enemy force. So an enemy is a foe, F-O-E, that's going backwards, it's, it's um, being repelled. Force is the F, and villainous lion is scar. Uh, I don't know that I know that reference, but I guess that's what, that's some sort of character. Uh, 10 across. Partially snip rose, cut orchid for lawyer. Um, Partially snip, rose, cut, orchid for a lawyer. Um, I'm thinking barrister or solicitor, but neither of those work. Uh, partially, so we're probably looking for a hidden. Uh, prosecutor, the other, there we go. So um, partially is telling us to take a partial section of these letters. Hopefully this will show up on the screen here. Um, so if I do this, well, if you see within those letters there, um, and those as well actually, we've got prosecutor spelt directly in the middle there, so partially indicates that. Okay, so two downs looking very 
forgettable. It looks like maybe stucco or something like that. Now, building material is stucco, so let's put that in. Uh, reductions lifted by business. So reductions are cuts, that's being reversed, so you get STUC. And a business is a co for company. Okay, so so far so good. No more themed letters yet. 19 across. Should have mentioned as well, I'm under some time pressure here, so I'm hoping this, that I get this done before I have to go out uh, in about half an hour or so. Um, line on the map from one returning overseas to tavern. Uh, so line on a map. Line on the map from one returning overseas. Oh yeah, so this is gonna be ISO bar. Um, so a line on a map is an isobar. One is the letter I, because uh, it looks like a one and because of the Roman numerals. Uh, returning overseas, so overseas is OS, and that's being returned, so you get SO. And another word for a tavern is a bar. Okay, so the top left corner is well and truly sorted. Let's try 17 down, since we've got a letter. Musical instrument, instruments. Um, can you see all that? You can't quite, hang on. Uh, musical instruments spoil second birthday on Monday. Party finished early. God, that's a long clue. Um, spoil second P birthday on Monday. Party finished early. Um, M D O Y. If it started with a P for the second letter of spoil, mm, Monday would be M usually, or, or Mon. Party is usually a do, and finished early. Oh, party finished early, so that would just be, that could just be the D, Mond. I'm not sure, let's try 17 across. Or is that what I'm looking at? No, 17 across. Um, merges to highway with unknown directions. Um, yeah, I've got the idea right here, but I don't know the answer. Um, So to merge, to join, I feel like there's going to be an X or a Y for the unknown. A highway, I don't know what that abbreviates to, if it's H, W, or M1 even. Ah, mixes. Right, so um, there's a bit of trickery there that you may not have come across if you're new to cryptics. Um, to merge is to mix, so that's the definition. A highway is, uh, one of the highways in Australia is the M1. I guess this, they exist in various places in the world, but uh, M1 is one of our highways, and uh, that makes MI at the beginning. Then an unknown is an X in mathematics, and directions are E and S for the uh, directions on the compass. Uh, looks like we're going to get a bunch of XOs here for... Um, oh, maybe we'll get Boxing Day as an anagram. I uh, probably shouldn't. <laughs> um, well, I don't know. I've given that away now, but um, I reckon the nine letters are going to spell Boxing Day. Oh, no, we've got two Xs, though, so that's no good. Ah, that's... That would have been cool. Um, so 13 down. Repair man to strike during disastrous fire. Uh, so this is a fixer. Disastrous fire is an anagram of fire that goes around the outside of a strike. A strike is an X in bowling. This is now an M here. So maracas comes to mind as an instrument, but I'll come back to that, I think. 20 down. Uh, sarcastic bravo to the first person with metal headgear. Um, so bravo, I think, is just to the, uh, to the first person. That would be I or me, sarcastic. With metal headgear. Headgear, that's gonna be a G, you would think. I feel like this is like, Something like biting. Oh yeah, I think it is actually, because 
Bravo is B um, from the phonetic alphabet. Uh, first person is I. Metal is tin and headgear. The first letter of gear is G. So biting is sarcastic. Okay, 23 across. Race odds for dear Ruth. Uh, so race odds for dear Ruth. So D-A-R-T. So the odd letters of dear Ruth are the D-A-R and T. And that makes for uh, a race or two race, which is to dart. So 24 down. Spellbound by expensive metal ring on grandma's nose. <laughs> um, expensive metal would be AU probably for gold. Ring on grandma's nose. Spellbound. Ord. Uh, oh, that's a curious one. There's, I feel like that's right. Bound by expensive metal ring would be wed. We are wed. We're bound by an expensive metal ring. And grandma's nose could be... Oh, I, I don't quite understand what's happening there. I'd, I'll come back to look at that at the end. It's probably right, but I'm just missing a trick. But I'll leave it out to save, oh, to save confusing myself. Uh, so, uh, where am I? Here we go, 27 across. Uh, approximate intersection, or approximate intersection. Um, approximate. And it, I was thinking it was an E here intersection crossing hmm, I'm not sure uh, okay I'm going to come back around so 21 old Russian figure condemned Puritans so that's Rasputin thankfully that was an easy enough anagram and a well enough known old Russian figure so condemned Puritans is just rearranging Puritans to get to get the old Russian figure, 22. It's one thing I like about cryptics. Like if that had been a normal clue and was had some reference to what Rasputin did or was or said, I have no idea, but I can rearrange letters. Um, smaller house in Canberra chosen at estate center. So TA. Small house in Canberra, chosen at a state centre. Hmm. Canberra makes me think ACT, house could abbreviate to H. Uh, sh a shack would be no. Chosen is confusing. Um, well, I don't know what chosen would be doing. Or oh, maybe it's the center letters of all of these. So T A O S. Uh, it's got to start with an S though. Hmm, okay, let's see what we've got here. 18 down. We'll get there, we'll get there. Winner of the game in grey squares. Ah, now the grey squares. Um, the squares in the printed version of this were grey, so that's probably... Ah, okay, I see what's going on. So winner of the game in grey squares. And this is... Oh, sorry, this is the down answer. I was thinking it was the 18 across. So it's seven letters long. Um, right, so this is going to be noughts. <laughs> so the the squares that we're looking at in colour there are going to be a noughts and crosses board. And the noughts are going to win. 
there's not many places left for Nortz to win. I think it must be down the right-hand side. So that's pretty cool. Let's see how we go. And, um, let's see if this clue bears that out. 28 across. Display pig outside hotel. Uh, so this is show, so to, to display it's a show, a pig is a sow, and it is outside a, an H, which is the abbreviation for hotel, comes up on maps and other things. Uh, so let's have a look at 18 across then. Uh, I suspect this might have an O in it. Web embraces Mark, uh, so Musk's website, it's succeeding. Ooh, this looks like another X though because Musk's website is X. Web embracing X, it's succeeding. Yeah, that's oh, that's interesting. Ah, oh, so, oh, so Nortz can go, we can get Nortz along the bottom there, very good. Uh, so next, X inside of net uh, for succeeding. So the succeeding thing in, in, a, in a sequence is the next one. Uh, we have an X, which is nice for our 15 down. Ooh, racy message to unwell Chris of Herbalist on 22 digit number. Um, 22 digit number, that's interesting. <laughs> okay, so I think this is, oh, I see. So this is, oh, this is gonna be to sextillion. We, there we go, that's, you won't see sextillion come up too much in a cryptic crossword. Um, and a nice opportunity for reference to uh, the racy message. Um, sextillion, cool clue, a cool number. Uh, you don't see 22 digit number or <laughs> that term come up in cryptics. Um, glad I didn't actually have to know much about numbers to get that. Uh, although I guess to be fair, I probably of the, all the things I know a little bit about numbers is one of them. Um, 14 across. Uh, musicians desire to hold note. Um, well, this looks like wish with something in it. Do, re, mi, fa. I feel like desire is we. Oh, I could be lust. Lut yeah, lutist. A lutist is an is a musician. Desire is lust, which has inside of it T, I, or is it E? I think it would be I. That's from the do re mi fa so la ti do. I think that t that T in that sequence can be spelt both ways. I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure a lutist would be in, would have an I there. Uh, so let's see if we can crack on with the top of the board here, the top of the grid. Um, a solver confused about second clue garment. So uh, a solver, so A is probably the first letter. Solver confused, oh yeah, okay, about second clue garment. So, oh, no, so A solver is anagram with the second letter of clue in it. And we look for a garment which should be obvious, uh, overalls. Okay, so A solver is confused, which means it's rearranged. And the second letter of clue is an L. And so that is inside of that anagram because the, the anagram of A solver is about or around the second letter of clue, L and overalls are of course a garment. Uh, we have a V here for nine across. That should be very helpful. Maybe television. Uh, Oh no, it's a, it's it's a two-word answer. So anti-vax are endlessly agitated for crime against the government. So tax evasion. Oops. So what we have there is um, and so uh, is so anti-vaxer without the final letter, endlessly, so without the R, rearranging all that because it's agitated and that gives us a crime against the government, which is tax evasion. So now three down should be a doddle, maybe exit. Departure of cricket team during extra time. So 
a uh, bit of a cricket reference here. You'll see this a bit in cryptic, especially, um, well, cryptics generally, I suppose. LR is a bit of a cricket fan as well. Um, cricket team is an XI, so the number 11, so 11 players. Um, and extra time is E and T. Uh, not sure if extra abbreviates to E or if extra time abbreviates to ET, but either way, that's the answer. Um, five down, launch fragrance after midday. So this is going to be ascent, I think. So um, a fragrance is, is the word scent. And that comes after the mid letter of day, which is A, for ascent, which is the launch of something. Uh, e, 11, strangely chose to release small parrot. So that is echo, that's a nice clue. Um, nice misdirection there. So strangely chose is an anagram of, of um, chose, except we're gonna release the uh, the small and small abbreviates to S. So we're going to take out the S from chose and rearrange it. That gives us echo and to echo something is to parrot it. So it's a nice bit of misdirection there. You see this a lot in cryptics. Um, I think some of the better clues tend to do this where, um, or at least the more kind of, kind of the more exciting ones to solve where the, there's a word in there, such in this case as parrot, which on the surface of it reads like a noun or the bird parrot but in the cryptic um, machinations, you end up having to use it in the, ver in the verb sense, in this case, um, as to parrot. Um, so six down. Cat returned with her first insect. So this is moth. Uh, a cat is a tom, and that is being reversed or returned. Uh, and her first is the first letter of her and an insect is a moth. So we're getting close now. Did we look at 22 down? Uh, we did, that was that one. Let's try 25 across. Hello, can my cocktail be blue? Interesting. Um, so there's an anagram here and what is the word? Melancholy. Another kind of uh, similar misdirection there. So, hello, can my cocktail, a cocktail of those letters makes melancholy. And um, blue, um, as, an, as an adjective describing mood, is melancholy. Um, I wonder actually if melancholy is used as an adjective or if it should be melancholic, in which case it's a slight um, corruption of, of the order of things. but. That's what's going on. But of course, in the surface reading, we're thinking of the color blue. Uh, so very nice. Uh, so this is gonna be marimbas, I think. Uh, I think that's an instrument. Let's look, put it in. So musical instruments, spoil second. Ah, oh, so to spoil is ma. Um, second birthday is I. Monday is M. A party is a bash. But it's, but it's finishing early, so the final letter is taken off it. Wow, that would be, that's pretty hard to, to cold solve. Although, spoil, I should have seen as a potential ma, that's, that comes up quite a bit. Um, but where you've got words like party, there's so many different things it could be. So to think of the word bash uh, off a cold is, is tricky. Although, I was doing the DA earlier today, and I'll, I'll do a video on some of those clues, and good lord, there's some... Um, so some tough cluing in that. I haven't finished it actually, but there's some great clues. Uh, 26 uh, down, rather. Facilities in shed we hear. So this is lose. So the uh, the lose are the facilities, euphemistically. Um, and to shed is to lose. So if you shed your skin, you lose your skin. Um, and we're hearing that. So we're not going to spell it the same way. We're, gonna, we're acting as if We've heard someone say lose, but we don't know specifically that they're saying L-O-O-S-E, and we may misinterpret it as L-O-O-S. Uh, always find it hard to describe the homophone indicator clue. I should try to work on a script for explaining that more coherently. Uh, ah, so this approximate or approximate intersection. 
Now I'm in trouble here because, well, actually, <laughs> I can use this trick. I know that that's an O because um, the noughts are going to win the game. So I might actually come back to 24 now because my answer on that was incorrect. Ah, this is going to be a gog. I remember trying to clue that word one time and it's difficult because it doesn't have obvious definitions, uh, obvious synonyms. Um, spellbound, I guess, is a pretty good one. So expensive metal, uh, in this, it wasn't gold for AU, it was silver, AG, that's on the pre periodic table. Ring is the letter O. Uh, and grandma's nose is the first letter of grandma for G. Wow, this is, this is confusing me, this 27 across. None of these letters are really helpful. Um, all these vowels, you really want consonants to pop up. Approximate intersection. Approximate. Wow. Okay, let's see if I can get 22 down and then we're out of luck after that. Smaller house in Canberra chosen at the state center. So a state center would be those letters. I can't, I mean the sonata fits there. Ah, oh. oh, sorry, Senate. So the smaller house in Canberra, being the capital of Australia and the house and the home of um, the Parliament of Australia, the smaller house there is the Senate. Uh, it's so chosen at a state centre. Ah, oh, that's just a hidden. So these hiddens can be really tricky. Um, so in the centre of this, we have spelt out S-E-N-A-T-E. All the harder because it splits over two lines uh, in the way that it's um, um, laid out. But uh, yeah, hidden's often, they're so easy in, in principle, it's, it's where the letters are right there, but uh, you've got to recognize that you're looking at such a clue. So now to the unfortunate 27 across, at this point, surely, approximate intersection. Oh, roundabout, okay. <laughs> And there we go. So um, my software thinks that, that every single answer is incorrect, uh, minus those X's, because <laughs> when I put the grid into the software, I put X's in all of the positions for the letters. Um, so I've gotten a few letters correct, but otherwise and it was an abysmal performance, apparently. Amuse Labs, if they're doing analysis on my, on my cryptic solving, will not be, well, well I'm going to be, <laughs> I'm going to be skewing the uh, standard deviations a little bit. Um, so there we go, uh, a beautiful thema from Liam. Uh, I'm not entirely sure why he thought that wouldn't work so well on digital. Um, yeah, because it seemed to work out. I wish it'd be nice if I had a way of actually highlighting now that, that these three letters here are the winning, the winning row. Uh, but yeah, some, some brilliant stuff there. So I'm not sure do we want to call that a Boxing Day theme? I don't think it relates to Boxing Day, um, but it came out on Boxing Day. Um, it does have O and X, so that's <laughs> it's part and part way there. Uh, yeah, but putting the theme aside, uh, as always from Liam, some really cool cluing, nothing too taxing apart from that nine across um, and uh, that 27 across, which, which really, took me to the last second there. Um, so thank you to Liam and thank you to you for watching. As I said, I did, well, I was doing the DA this morning. I continue, I intend to continue doing that at some point and uh, that won't be a live or a full solve, but I'm going to put up some of the clues because uh, there was some really cool stuff in there. Uh, next cab off the rank, I think will be the Stephen Knight uh, cryptic from the Big Issue magazine. Clues of the day as always. Uh, and uh, a couple of poetic things coming your way soon as well that uh, I've been working on. Uh, so thanks again for watching. Don't forget, if you want to be less clueless, you can subscribe for more, um, but it's okay. You are welcome to remain clueless if that is your want. 
Uh, thanks again, and see you all next time.